In this Illustrator tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add another page. Now, if you're in InDesign, this pages concept makes a lot of sense. You're probably building out things like brochures and other printed pieces. In Illustrator, yes, you can do that kind of thing. However, we don't really call them pages. We call them artboards. So if we have this artboard right here, this is 1920 by 1080 or 1080 by 1920 vertical. If I wanted to add more of these pages, maybe I'm creating stories or some kind of vertical social media post. I'm going to add more pages by using the artboard tool or by editing my artboards. The artboard tool looks like this square icon over here. It's shift O as the shortcut key. And I would recommend learning that shortcut key. So when we press shift O, it's going to take us into this artboard mode. Now you can see that we have the artboard tool, tool selected now. And once we're here, we can move artboards around. We can resize them. We can check out the artboard properties and transform that resizing over here. Also give artboards a name, but also we can add artboards. So if we just hold option or alt on our keyboard, we can click and drag to duplicate an artboard. We can also just completely draw new artboards by clicking and dragging outside of the artboard. So we could draw a new one. If you don't get the height and stuff right, that's okay. We can edit the height here if you know your pixel dimensions. What else can we do? Well, we can also add another artboard by clicking this little plus icon right here, and it'll create a new artboard right next to it. And you can do that a bunch of times. So if you're gonna call these pages, this is how to add pages to your InDesign document by basically adding artboards. Now, if you start to get some weird spacing or too many artboards kind of all over the place, you can actually arrange these. So if we go back to the artboard tool or when we don't have anything really selected on the right hand side in the properties panel, underneath the document, we have edit artboards. That's basically the artboard tool, another way to select that tool. Once we've edited those artboards, we can actually rearrange all with this quick action right here. It'll rearrange all the artboards in the layout that we want. So we can select columns, we can select how that layout moves and how these artboards will go and what the spacing between each is. And also if you have artwork, it'll move the artwork with the artboards and we can select okay. Now we created a two column layout. So it kind of put them more vertically. You go to re rearrange all and say, no, I'm gonna have, let's see, we have six. So I'm gonna have three columns and now one, two, three, four, five, six, it rearranges them real easy. Why are these offset? Well, because we had some different sized artboards, I didn't pay much attention. They'd be more lined up if they were all the same size, but they don't have to be. That's what this shows. It'll rearrange your artboards no matter what size they are and put them in here in a much more organized way on your page. And that's how to add pages here in Illustrator.